Hey guys, Perry Watkins, a set and go trapper. I am going to dispel all the BS about dying and waxing canine traps. Now, I have discovered a technique for those you guys like myself that maybe set two dozen over the course of the year because of your work and, and all that above. I'm going to show you a way to keep the odors off your dyed and waxed canine traps. So it's a process and it's not very hard and it's unique. And so I want you to know about it, so I'm gonna share it with you. Now I have skimmed most of the wax. Boy, I got the best pot in the world, look at that. I have skimmed most of the wax off of this, um, off of this uh, water already. And these three pans around here are just wind breaks for me. So I learned by using this great big pot that if I put a lid on it, it boils a lot faster. So it saves your propane. See, I still got some gunk on there. And I am going to normally, and we're fighting the weather, normally I would just take my hose and wash that all off, but I'm just gonna do one trap. So, um, I mean, there's crap in there. That's how it is. And that's gonna be a little bit better, but I'm gonna wash this trap off anyway. You gotta know that, that's part of the process. So let's find one here. There's one, there's one, perfect right there is perfect. We'll get him out of there. He's hooked up, obviously, every time you try to do something on camera. So that's a um, one and a half Victor or Duke. I don't know which one it is. What we're going to do and what you got to know is if you, when you take the traps out of the um, w uh, water, the, the dye, and by the way, I have just as good a luck with the red dye as I do with the black dye. You know, uh, th there's a big price difference, but I, I just use the red stuff. Anyway, you got to know that uh, they just they start to dry immediately after they come out, especially it's cold and it's rainy out here. So this, this track was almost dry. However, um, I'm going to I'm going to wash this off. I'm just going to hang. Here's where I hang all my traps normally during the during the process, but it is rainy outside. And so uh, I'm just going to hang that one up here. But once that's done, um, once that's dry, I normally wash those off with my garden hose. If it's took the dye, what's the difference, right? Does that make sense? So just for today, let's just knock this off of here. And, and I use number threes and, and all of them. And um, I think I got my wax hot enough. We're going to go check that right now. And if you want to follow me, Ben, um, here's another thing that I have learned. Since I only do, and again, I might do 45, depends on the year, depends on my time, depends on all that. I might do 45 or 50, but I do them all the same way, just like this. And uh, you will see how to avoid all the crapola. So, what I have learned is that this is a fry daddy and that takes six and a quarter pounds of wax to get it where it's safe. Now that wax is hot. It might even be too hot. The one I had before had a rheostat on it so you could adjust it but I couldn't find one that had a rheostat and I couldn't find one on eBay and I just found one in a hardware store you, you keep looking, you'll find one. This is a dual, and it's really, really nice. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go get that trap. I'm going to shake it some more. I'm, I'm going to wax it, and I'll show you what we do. So bear with me. I'll be right over here. I use a different, I use a different um, hook for my wax as I do my um, pulling them out of the water. And that, you know... I'm pretty paranoid anyway when it comes to odor. I absolutely overdo it, but this is really a good technique and it's cool and it works. And we'll see now. Now that tr that wax may or may not, once that trap gets hot, it'll probably have a little water still on it. It may or may not uh, bubble. But what that bubbling is, is a um, the water, any water left over 
in that right it's starting to bubble a little bit now something else that I learned is it's this is really cool when the wax cools off you put this lid on it keeps everything out of your wax and here's some more of it I'm gonna this year now I, the old waxer I had that was smaller I left it out in my barn and this year I'm gonna take this one in the house so that's what that's what I learned now when your trap gets the same temperature or hot as the wax now see here it comes see that's the water coming off it the little bit of water was on there do not put them in this wax soaking with water you don't want to do that um, but when the trap gets as hot as the wax it will take a thin perfect coat of wax and I'll show you what I mean by that that's huge if it's gunky and it comes out white it should never be white your trap wasn't hot enough that's the cure to that so out of the pot normally I hang them on a line 12 14 15 at a time normally I let them come to temperature dry off then I get my garden hose and I wash them off again paranoid I get it that's me so in a few minutes they're dry again warm cool October day with some wind it doesn't take very long at all this this trap is getting really really close so what I'm gonna do give it another couple seconds yeah this whack this this trap is hot it's starting to get hot that little boiling you see is the remaining water that are, is down in the coils or somewhere like that so I know now I'm gonna shake it back I'm gonna get right where the cameraman's at here in about two seconds I'm gonna shake it off and I know that I'm gonna hang this up right here normally I hang it on my line but I had to do some prep work um, I know that that trap is hot enough I know my wax is hot enough and I know that's gonna be safe the secret is coming up we're gonna let that dry it's just gonna take a couple seconds I knocked the loose off of it that will be um, dry in just a few minutes here's something else that I learned last year I I waited before I applied the technique I didn't wait overnight I just waited till it was cool and then I did what we're gonna I'm gonna show you we do this year I've been leaving them out I kind of like leaving them out and letting that wax cure overnight if you're doing it in the morning I'm gonna stop turn my wax off if you're doing it in the morning then you know later in the day gives it enough time for the wax to cure that's what I did this year and it really really comes out nice so let me see here I'm blind yeah that's gonna be just fine um, that's just gonna take a few more seconds and that, and that will come up the temperature is and you notice I'm using a hook and that come with a turkey fryer I used to do my traps in a turkey fire fryer I do not use a wood fire I use propane I got a real I got six burners I got a real good burner that there that's a cast iron pot and if you use cast iron pot in any way shape or form if you do not take the water out of it before it gets winter time it will crack so when I'm all done with that I'm going to take a bucket get the water out of it and turn it over cast iron lasts you a hundred years as long as you don't let it crack by leaving water in it and that's what causes the crack this is getting close already so <clears throat> here's what I'm going to show you because uh, you know time is of the essence and you guys get bored easy and turn me off and I understand that because I do the same damn thing here's what I want to show you this is what I do with the cooled off traps this number three bridger which is a coyote killing machine has been in the barn since last year I did not set it last year now I probably redo it but you probably don't have to I would just let this air out and put it in a different bag but that bridger 
has been in that bag, and I, I'll bet you a dollar I can set it and catch a coyote. The key to the bag is this. I take the, it, this is for guys who trap out of the trunk of their car, the back of a truck. I trap out of a van. The, the reason why I come up with this is because no, nothing can get to my traps. So I have a bunch of them in bags. I was able to get two number 175s in that. Look how nice them are. Look at how nice them are. And them right there, I, I crowded two 175s. You can get two one and a halfs in pretty easy. But look at the wax job. Look how perfect that is. Guys, that is as good as it gets. Um, and so I put them in a tub with a real good lid on it. And I can carry that around in that tub. Yeah, show them down in their bed. Here's a couple one and a half. But look how, what a job that does, you guys. It's just fantastic. Now, I use the zipper style bags on purpose. I don't, this is the type of bag you want to use. And, uh, I've noticed something about trappers. We're not cheap. We're thrifties. We're really thrifty as a group. But let me share something. These are two dollars for twenty-three. Okay, it's worth the money to buy a name brand as opposed to giving a dollar fifty for the dollar store brand. Just saying. So go ahead and. Jump out of the bag and spend the whole two bucks, catch them on sale, buy two boxes, you got four dollars in them. So that being said, now this what this trap it was almost hot enough. So I will redo this. It's just the weather, you guys. We intended on being outside. Uh, see, you should not have that. And on them other ones, you'll see I don't have that. But here's what I do. And so here's a big deal, okay? I start at the bottom and I get hold outside the back of the trap and I get right a hold of it and I drop it down in the bag just like that. I probably will redo that's pretty good. It's if you can see it, it's pretty good. But listen, I never touched this trap and now nothing can get to it. So there's the secret. Nothing can get to this. If you trap out of the trunk of your car, if you smoke it in, the, in your truck or whatever that is, nothing can get to it. Now, last but not least, I just take, I have a trapper's bag. I just take a couple of traps at each set, take them out of my tub, throw them in my trapper's bag, and I walk up there scent free. Absolutely scent free. I open them up, put them in. I go, of course, I got my gloves on. Sent for you guys. It's a big hassle, not really. I'm used to it, and I, it took me a couple years to get it, and I just gave it to you for free. So subscribe to the, the Set and Go Trapper, and thanks you guys for watching.